What's up guys? It's me, Technology Dude 117, and welcome to my first impressions for Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark. Rise of the Dark Spark just released on Tuesday for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, Xbox 360, PC, Wii U, and 3DS. Now the game released just in time for the release of the brand new Transformers movie Age of Extinction. Now, you guys know that I usually like to do my first impressions for a game the day the game releases. And that's exactly what I did with Transformers, but after actually watching the video a few times, I realized that I really wasn't giving the game a chance. You know, I really wasn't being fair to it. So I decided not to upload the video, get a few extra days with the game, a few extra hours with the game, and then come back to this point, make the video, and give you guys some very solid first impressions, and I feel like I can finally do that. My opinion on the game has actually completely changed. When I first played the game, I thought it was just utter garbage, and now the more I get into it, and the further I get into the game, and the more, I, more time I invest into it, uh, the more I actually enjoy it. So without further ado, let's actually get into the impressions here. Now, when I first popped the game into my PlayStation 4, I wasn't expecting to be blown away graphically, but I wasn't expecting to be kind of disappointed. Now, the game doesn't necessarily look terrible, but it doesn't look that good either. Now, I think the game, now correct me if I'm wrong, I think the game runs on the exact same engine as the previous Transformers titles. Now, that's a pretty decent engine, but it definitely looks aged, and people were even saying that with Fall of Cybertron. Um, now, obviously Activision wanted to get this game out in time for the movie's release, just so they can make as much money as possible uh, on the property. So, obviously Edge of Reality wasn't really given a lot of time to make the game as good as it could have been on next gen and really sort of amp up the graphics to a whole nother level. So what they probably did, which is my guess, is just utilize that same old engine. Now it is kind of inconsistent. On Cybertron it looks pretty decent. It doesn't look as bad as it does on Earth. On Earth it looks absolutely terrible. On Earth there's a bunch of texture problems. There's just a whole bunch of problems on Earth. And on Cybertron it looks fine. And that's kind of weird. That's a graphical inconsistency. Um, you know, a few other things I've noticed when I'm playing the game is that there's a lot of popping, there's a lot of screen tearing, there's frame rate dips, um, there are texture issues, and, you know, it's not the worst looking game, but it isn't the best looking game either, and you can tell this engine has aged, and with the next Transformers game, we definitely need an upgrade. Now the best looking thing in the game are the actual Transformers themselves and even they have some problems um, you know when a level first loads or an online multiplayer match first loads um, they might not be fully texturized or they might just look kind of weird overall but uh, that's usually only when the game first boots up so that's not really too much of an issue but graphically the game isn't anything to write home about. So next uh, Story-wise, the game takes place, uh, like I already said, on both Earth and Cybertron. The Cybertron sections are a lot more interesting and just a lot more thought out, I guess you can say. Now, the game on Earth takes place, I believe, during the events of Age of Extinction as well as after Age of Extinction, but please correct me if I'm wrong. And then the events on Cybertron take place uh, in between... War for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron. Now, the game is centered around, obviously, the Dark Spark. Now, on Cybertron is sort of the backstory of the Dark Spark, how it got to Earth, so on and so forth. And then when you're on Earth, it's basically the Autobots need to get back the Dark Spark uh, before the entire universe is ripped apart and destroyed. So it's definitely a pretty good story if you're into Transformers and you're into the war of uh, Transformers. I definitely think you'll enjoy it. Um, it is fairly interesting. It's definitely holding my attention. And like I said, anybody who's a Transformers fan will definitely find uh, bits and pieces of the story here to enjoy. And if you do want a little bit more out of uh, 
Transformers Age of Extinction, you know, this is probably where you can turn to to get that little bit of extra uh, oomph, if you will. But uh, overall, the story is pretty decent and it does get the job done. All right, so next, uh, I want to just briefly touch on content and specifically uh, the multiplayer. Now, the Transformers games are known for their multiplayer. The multiplayer in the previous ones was absolutely phenomenal. It was so deep and there was so much to do and it was very, very addicting. And I was absolutely disappointed, um, completely disappointed by the fact that the only multiplayer mode in this game is Escalation. Now that's like a horde mode. It is pretty fun, but I would have liked to see Team Deathmatch and a bunch of other modes from the previous games as well. But clearly because Edge of Reality was pressed for time, they weren't really able to sort of squeeze in any other multiplayer modes or options. It definitely isn't as deep as it used to be. There isn't as much customization or options here, and there aren't that many maps. And, um, you know, it is disappointing that Escalation is the only thing. And outside of the story and Escalation, there really isn't much else to do. There are a few collectibles to go back and get, audio logs and whatnot, trophies, of course. But uh, overall, the game is lacking a little bit in the content department. I would definitely like to see maybe some sort of update where, you know, a full multiplayer suite, a full proper multiplayer suite is added to the game, but who knows if we'll actually get that. So content-wise, the game is a little lacking, but I've been playing for probably like seven or eight hours now, and um, you know I still have a pretty decent chunk of story left to play through, and uh, I'm still not tired of that multiplayer yet. But uh, overall, the game is a little lacking in the content department, and that's probably because it was rushed, and that's sort of a reoccurring theme that I came up against while playing this game, is that, uh, that whole rush factor the fact that it at times felt like it wasn't finished but uh, overall there you guys go those are basically my first impressions for Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark if you guys did enjoy this video you know please do not forget to comment rate favorite and subscribe share the video with your friends on Facebook and Twitter and if you guys have been actually playing Rise of the Dark Spark Please let me know down in the comments what you think of the game so far. And once again, guys, thanks for watching, and take it easy, everybody. I'll see you.